This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Chesapeake Eye Center. Now, have you ever heard the phrase, doctor knows best? Well, it's an attitude that has dominated the medical industry for as long as people have been asked to open up their mouth and say, ah. Uh. Well, nowadays, efforts to make healthcare more patient friendly have focused on getting patients and doctors to work together to make decisions about care and treatment, an attitude that the doctors at Chesapeake Eye Center take very seriously. When it comes to health care, Dr. Katherine Smoot of Chesapeake Eye Center says patients have more choices than ever. Because of increasing technology, increasing availability to information, uh, increasing research and development. That's why she says the doctor-patient relationship should be more of a partnership. No matter what segment of healthcare you're in, to make sure your provider is discussing with you what choices you may have. Dr. Smoot says those choices range from how a surgery may be done to what type of medical approach will be used to solve a problem. But you need to make sure you have a candid, open, honest conversation with your physician about what your choices are. When it comes to ophthalmology, Dr. Smoot says there are all kinds of choices today that they didn't have 25 years ago. And those choices may range again from the type of glaucoma medicines we're using to the way we're treating macular degeneration, to surgical choices in the operating room. And I think that's what patients have to understand that's no longer the world of tell me doctor, it is more of share with me my choices and help guide me into the choice that is best for me. And Dr. Smoot says these choices also need to be addressed, not just as a patient, but as a healthcare consumer. Part of empowering us is to understand how we're spending our healthcare dollars. Is that the best use of my healthcare dollars? Am I getting more bang for my buck? And that's all part of it because some of these choices are covered by insurances, some are not. And it and that's where you have to go in terms of making some of these decisions as well. What meets your needs? And when the vitreous jelly. Dr. Smoot says she has patients share with her what their lifestyle needs are. You know, are you an artist? You want your world up close. Do you want to be outdoors with sports and have the best distance vision possible? You know, what are your needs? And then when you have a candid conversation about what your needs are, we can help you tailor your surgical choices to meet those needs. Dr. Smoot says that goes for choosing glasses or contacts, but that these days the same vision problems that are corrected with glasses can be corrected surgically. For example, if you're an individual that has a lot of astigmatism, we now have lenses to correct that astigmatism. We have lenses that correct distance and near if you say I can't stand anything on the bridge of my nose. We have lenses that are distance only if you say I've been glasses my whole life, I don't care. And then the most important thing is to make sure that your doctor, your surgeon, is presenting you with your choices. But Dr. Smoot says your first choice should be who is performing the surgery. So you want to check their credentials, you want to know their training, you want to know other people who have worked with that surgeon to make sure they'll meet your needs. And Dr. Smoot says for the most part, physicians are not looking for ways to take your money and run. They want the best results. That's our reward. Our reward, quite frankly, is not dealing with the government bureaucracies. It is not dealing with the constant changing rules and regulations. It's not, our reward is not dealing with the stress of the day-to-day, -day, you know, in the patient office. It is when you come in and you sit in that chair and you say, this is my need or this is my problem and we can help address it and make your life a little bit better then we can walk out that door feeling a lot better. And Dr. Smoot adds that if you're not sure about whether or not your insurance will cover the treatment you choose, the staff at Chesapeake Eye Center and most medical facilities can help you out. Now, unfortunately, there don't seem to be as many choices when it comes to Alzheimer's disease. That's because it can't be slowed, stopped, or prevented. But researchers are gaining some ground when it comes to what may contribute to the onset of the disease. We to hear what may be a huge factor. We'll also learn how you can take steps, literally, to stop Alzheimer's from affecting any more families. Delmarva Life will be right back.